We're in England doing some prints, three more prints. The first one is dated 1595, and it is dated 1595, 1595. So again, we have a ancient piece of printing, 450 years old roughly, engraving. And again, I'm going to say it again, I'm amazed I can get hold of these things still so easily in England. Um, We've got an awful lot of them and they're so interesting. This one here shows the rich man in hell, the rich man in hell. So he's being taunted and tormented by demons. He's being having water poured over his head. Uh, there's Abraham up here. The British Museum thinks that the character in the cartouche is Abraham. That's Abraham, that is meant to be the rich man. That is meant to be the rich man. I think that's not the rich man, I think that's Lazarus. Because there was a parable where a rich man and Lazarus went up, they died, and one was let into heaven, Lazarus, and the rich man was told to go to hell. Um, the rich man asked Lazarus, I might be wrong, this is how I remember it, the rich man asked Lazarus to go back into the world and tell the rest of his family they would go to hell could go to hell and god said you can't go back you've crossed the line you've crossed over that's the expression so that's a, a biblical scene showing the rich man in hell so after jacobo palmer otherwise known as palmer giovanni print by sadler egidius sadler the second published by marco sadler there's a lot of sadlers different sadlers so it's probably probably a Dutch print. It's lost its margin. It's got the dedication still. It's been stuck onto another piece of paper. The paper it's stuck onto is itself probably 17th century, sorry, 18th century. Uh, the quality of the, the engraving is wonderful. It's very much like, I keep saying again, it's like the face of Franklin on the dollar bill how they've done it. Okay, that's a nice print. Next one. This is 1582, 1582. This is stuck to another piece of paper. It's in quite good condition other than the corners missing, unfortunately. It's not folded over, it's been ripped off. This is the Madonna and Child with St. Peter. Peter's got the key. And St. Stephen and St. Francis, I don't know which is St. Stephen and St. Francis, I'm not an expert. A lovely print in good condition, of considerable age. The painting, the original painting was done by Orazio Saracini, and that has been Latinized or unlatinized, depending on which way around you, you want to look at it, into Horatius Samak and there's a date 1532 you can see it there that's the date it was printed the the um both characters were from Bologna and the engraver Agostino Caracci died in Parma Orazio Samacine was was born in Bologna and died in Bologna in 1577. So it's another holy print of considerable age. And I suppose you could, if you, you could, you could, I could sell that as a late Renaissance print from Bologna. That's, that's what it is, I'm afraid. That's what it is. It's quite incredible. This one is not from Venice, it's not from Rome, it's, it's from. Bologna. Okay, next one. This one isn't so exciting. This is an English one. This next print is dated 1732. It shows a castle. The castle front is left is there. That's what it's like now. It shows a plan. It shows a side elevation. This was published by the Society of Antiquaries in London. And it is engraved by George Virtue. Virtue was a very famous English engraver. The 
Castle is Colchester. Colchester is an eastern town in England. The fact it's got Chester in the name means it's a Roman city. The Romans took over the place that became Colchester. They built a temple to Claudius. They then built a castle and the castle has this characteristic stone brick, stone brick type thing going on. It's not a very pretty castle, I've been there myself. In fact, it's a hideous castle and it's asymmetrical. And the main door is this one, showing in the print at ground level, but they've excavated a ditch and there's now a low, a low bridge. They've covered the whole of the keep, sorry, the whole of the courtyard with a modern roof and it's a museum of sorts. But the thing about this castle is it was a stay alive castle, meaning that the, there were not a lot of windows and ways in and ways out. And it was this was meant to actually as a castle. It wasn't a decorative, a decorative mansion. The Normans added to the top, added to the top in 1070, which is pretty, pretty close to the time of the Norman invasion being eastern and fairly southern, not, not, not that southern, fairly southern. It was hit on the hit list and the Normans got hold of this place. They took this Roman, Roman town, they improved the castle on top of the Roman castle and um, it meant this castle meant business. It wasn't, as I say, it wasn't there for parties or for stag hunting or for meeting foreign dignitaries. This was, a, as I say, a stay alive castle. Okay, uh, what, what else can I say about it? It, is a, it just is of a cert, a certain antiquity and interest, mainly for someone who either wants to know about Colchester or the Romans or the Normans. Okay, so we've looked at three more lovely old prints. Thanks for looking.